A famous 19-year-old Australian blogger, Sino Neal, has released well, a brutally honest video revealing that her social media image that led to, well, half a million Instagram followers is not real life. It's led to so much discussion around the need for attention on social media and also how real those pictures really are. Blogger Aisha Baker is in our studio together with psychologist Megan Byer. Uh, they, Megan, we know you from the show. Aisha, welcome to you. But before we even chat to you, it's become news and it's brought to our attention in the media. I want to see what this video is that Asina is talking about. This is what it looks like. I don't agree with social media as it currently is. Please, please, can someone make something that isn't based on views, likes, and followers? I think that culture creates validation and insecurity in likes and views. It's like, I just, I hate it. I think it's so detrimental to human health and human ability. I think when you put work out there or a part of yourself out there or you share and a number on a screen dictates that success or that value, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, and I'm just letting you know that as a 12 year old girl, I felt hell insecure about my Instagram. Well, that's Asina O'Neill's video. If you want to see the rest, see it on, I think it's Vimo, Vimo, well, how do you say Vimeo. Vimeo. <laughs> see, Ash is laughing at me this morning because I'm going, what? What is this all about? Well, in our studio this morning, you heard it. Uh, Asha is here and then also Megan. Megan is our psychologist and Asha's online with a whole lot of followers. Megan, I want to get to you first. Okay. From a psychology point of view, we've come to this point where the amount of likes, retweets, uh, and even people on our social media define our value. What is that? Mm -hmm. I think the first thing to recognize it's nothing new in the sense that to develop our sense of self we've always needed validation approval some attention mm -hmm. in order to discover who we are within the social social matrix so it's part of our identity mm -hmm. you know development but the difficulty is is that it's been amped up mm -hmm. there's instant access the, the sheer volume of mm -hmm. people kind of approving us and validating mm -hmm. us has arrested our self-development I mm -hmm. think we stuck as adults in teenage selves, mm -hmm. still seeking approval, affirmation, mm -hmm. and we haven't developed this movement into mm -hmm. full kind of individuation, self-acceptance, and that comes up from a place of kind of inner value and, mm -hmm. and inner worth and being able to va validate ourselves from real experiences and who we really we are. are you but know? a part of me is going, uh, maybe it's not that wrong because if we didn't have social media, there'd be no let out for that little, the little girl in all of us yeah. or the little boy in all of us. If you just tuned in, we're talking about social media and a video that went live. Asha, you're one of the leading bloggers and Instagrammers in the country. I've just been on your profile, 36 and a half thousand followers. Wow. Uh, it looks amazing, <laughs> your pictures are great. But what do you think of Asina's point? Uh, this is Asha, by the way. She looks That's great. Me. You look pretty. I love your handbag. I look so tall. Yeah, you do look tall. I'm no, not don't, tall don't, don't give it away. Because <laughs> that's, that's make believe at times, right? Okay. So, Asina's point I mean, she points out that the pictures are sometimes misleading, and viewers and fans, they don't know if it's real life or not. What do you want to say about it? Um, I've had a lot to say about it online, and mm. anyone who follows me on Twitter or Instagram knows that I've been talking about it. Um, I think that the issue is problematic to a younger market. Mm. So for instance, you and I know, okay, this isn't real. Mm. Like, this is contrived, this is being Like curated. you don't really drink your coffee at the cricket like that, right? I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ilana, oh, I definitely do drink my coffee <laughs> like this. But I mean, in that picture, I'm sitting up straighter. I'm not slouching mm. like I usually do. Mm. Um, but I think the most important thing is, as a parent, um, to monitor your child's interaction mm. with social media. The same way my mom monitored me loving Britney Spears. Mm. I wanted to be a slave for you. I was, oops, I did it again. I wanted to wear <laughs> little crop tops and stuff. And mm. my mom said, like, okay, this is age appropriate and that kind of dancing is mm. not okay. So I think as a parent, it's good to have Instagram. I know many kids are like, mom, you're not cool. Like, don't go on Instagram. But be on there and see what your kids are looking at. Mm. And you decide as a parent, is this okay? Is my child... Um, obsessed with a world that isn't real. So I understand that your take is the younger audience might be influenced and, and yeah. that's you, you're concerned about that. But coming back to your own profile, which is very beautiful, and I mean, I'm not here to criticize, I'm just here to find out. Yeah. Most of the pictures that you post aren't real. That's not how you normally are. Um, I wouldn't say that. I am quite posy normally. Mm. Um, I think a lot of 
how I portray myself is real. Mm. But I mean, you don't show us what you look like in the morning before yeah. you come to Expresso. Mm -hmm. I think it's normal to um, create an identity for yourself. Mm. Whether you share that identity on TV, mm. in the workplace, as a mm. lawyer, when I work, go to work with mm. my briefcase and my suit, I'm mm. a professional. Right. So that's the kind of image I portray online as a mm. fashion professional. And I'm glad she said that. She says that mm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a platform to portray a certain image, you know. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. it, so what if it's make-believe? Yeah. Oh, I've got but, so many questions about But here's about the, the difficulty, yeah. is that when we're continually comparing our real self mm. to an idealized self that's, that's portrayed out there. For people who are vulnerable, so in other words, their self-worth is not intact. For people who are vulnerable, it's very dangerous mm. because they think that that is real. And I mean, I, I, I hear you saying that that's real, but I can, you know, I, I think that's idealized. There's that's from my point it. of view. There's no. a filter on it. <laughs> Listen, and thanks for are. joining us this morning. <laughs> I, I have to go. Megan, our psychologist in the studio, and then also, you can follow her. I've just been on Bake the Blog. Uh, Asha Baker, really pretty girl, <laughs> and some pretty posts. Let's talk more on and stuff. Yeah, you can, all you're right. About you can talk I'd more on Twitter. I'd love to chat more about it, too. <laughs> if you have anything to say and you want to see uh, Asina's video as well, we will have it for you on our Facebook page. So that's Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. Also, at Expresso Show, if you want to follow us. Well, there's loads more happening on the show, guys. Over to you.